Hey guys, it's your girl Cali Figure 8 and I am coming to share a few things with you guys today. Um, one of them is a little dilemma that I've been having with mixed emotions as to whether or not I should have weight loss surgery. So as you will remember from my last video, I was in a lot of pain from my surgery from three weeks ago and just dealing with a lot of the emotions from that. And I just could not see myself voluntarily having a surgery. So I've been going back and forth because when I'm feeling bad or I'm out of breath or I'm in pain, I'm like, oh no, there's no way I could do this. I just can't. I can't go through surgery electively. And then last night I spent some time on YouTube. I spent some hours on YouTube looking at um, VSG weight loss journeys from beginning to end and getting so inspired and then spending some time in um, some newfound uh, Facebook groups and getting inspired and so I'm like going back and forth. So what I've decided is to continue with the preparation part as I've always had that as a plan and just let God move me because God will take care of me and my fears for having the surgery are having to be cut instead of laparoscopically and having developing a pulmonary embolism and dying um, that's the reality of it so I'm going through a lot of transitions spiritually. Um, as a side note, through my church, we have a small women's group Bible study, and we are actually studying Jesus. So I know the Lord, I know the stories, I have great faith, but I've never sat and just learned about Jesus, the man who he is, other than reading like Matthew and, you know, reading the apostles but I am going through an actual study to study Jesus and then I'm also doing a study at my church with Dave Ramsey with finances and I recently had a son graduate from high school so now I have an adult child living in my home and just a lot of different things going on in my life but I'm not overwhelmed. I'm up for the challenge. I believe God has me. And I think that this weight loss surgery and journey is just something else that's on my plate. So, um, I don't know for, well, anyway, I mentioned on Instagram, so I'll mention it here. On Thursday, I went and saw the weight loss surgeon for the pre-surgery consult and I expressed my concerns with him. So, off the bat, they're not going to do surgery for a minimum of three months to give my body time to recover from this surgery. I have up until a year from the date that my referral is approved. And my referral will be approved sometime in July. So, he's looking at mid-October. I would be eligible should I decide to proceed with the VSG procedure. And I did share with him my past history and I let him know my fears and concerns. So he was like automatically they're going to have me up and walking every hour on the hour after surgery. I will not be permitted a rest period no matter how much time, how much pain I am in. And then um, they'll have the compression sleeves. And when I had my last surgery and the one before that where I developed the pulmonary embolism, they didn't give me compression stockings, but one of my church members, she um, is going to give me a pair of compression stockings that I will use whether they give them to me at the hospital or not. So I felt more secure, so now I just need to get in tune with God to hear what He wants me to do. And I also have another three and a half months to conquer some of this weight loss on my own and see where I stand and if I even need surgery at that point. Another thing I wanted to discuss is that I kind of forgotten where I've come from when it comes to weight. I've been overweight for 
my son is 18. I've been overweight for 17 years. When I, I'm 5'6", but I carry my weight very well. So before I got pregnant, I was... I got pregnant at 19. So before I got pregnant, like a year after high school, I was 180 pounds and I wore a size 11. Um, some 10s, but then it's like back then we wore Levi's. I think Levi's 512s, I think that was, or something like that. But I think they were 512s. And I wore a size 11 and they fit my body nice. Um, I think in guest jeans, I mean, I'm really dating myself <laughs> when I, I think guest jeans, I wore like a 32 or 30. Anyway, I wasn't really, really big. Um, I was 187 pounds. I was 180 pounds when I got pregnant. I was 187 pounds to so the day of delivery. I left the hospital at 160, 179 and at my Six week or four week. I had a C-section, so I forgot when I went back. But at my checkup, when I was clear to go back to work, so I guess that was an eight week checkup. Um, I was 155 pounds, so I was like back to my high school graduation weight with a baby, and I took that to the head and got out of control. Ended up not working and going to school full time, living with my boyfriend cooking dinner, eating dinner before he came home to make sure it tastes right, then eating dinner with him, not exercising. I was going to school during the day, so I was in school from 8 to 12, came home and was just sitting around the house with my baby and snacking and eating. And before I knew it, when my son turned one, I was 189 pounds. I'll never forget crying on the bathroom floor to my mom I was 11 pounds away from 200 and my weight has progressively increased since then all the way up to 278 but with that said um, my highest weight ever was 278 and then I would fluctuate go down to 260 back up to 268 278 271 whatever back and forth but um in one of my Facebook groups, they did a throwback Thursday and someone posted a picture of me that I'm going to post at the end of this video. And I could not believe the difference in the weight loss. So for those that are just tuning in, my stats are my highest weight is 278. When I started my options classes at Kaiser, I was 273. And I got down to two. 58 or maybe a couple of weeks ago and I want to touch on that in a moment because I'm not 258 anymore so um, I saw pictures but it was reassuring to me to see how I used to look and how I look now in the comparison because I do feel like I look different um, even though I haven't lost a whole lot of weight, I do see a difference. When I saw that picture, I was like, oh wow, I really have lost weight. And it was important for me to see that and experience it because I was too set. When I came home from the hospital, my surgery was three weeks ago. So I've been home for two weeks because I had to stay in. I was in the hospital for six days. So I came home like two weeks and two days ago or something like that, two and a half weeks ago. I was 258 pounds and I was like, oh my God, I lost 20 pounds. I'm in my 250s. I have not been in my 250s since I graduated from school in 2008. Since 2009, I was 258 in 2009. I remember that because my cousin was getting married and I needed to get into a dress that I still haven't gotten in because I didn't lose the weight. So we're looking at what? five years that I haven't been in my 250s so I was like I'm so close to 260 I was so nervous I'm watching what I'm eating I'm probably not eating enough and because of um I have my surgery traditionally I haven't been released to start walking I can start walking next week Sunday um when it'll be a month after surgery so anyway I was feeling bad because this past week I got on the scale and I was 261 and I just went into panic mode because I was like oh my god I was 
finally made my 250s and it's emotional. I'm, I see my eyes. I feel my eyes watering up. I was like, oh my God, I'm back in my 260s. I'm back in that trap. And so I was feeling really depressed for like the past day or so. And so my best friends are RN and I talked to her and I just told her I was worried about the weight loss and the weight gain. And so she was telling me, don't worry about it that I have been immobile so I probably have some swelling and then I also know that I um I'm due to have my lady time any day so it's like logically it's like okay maybe I really didn't gain weight I'm not drinking water like I'm supposed to I'm not mobile and it's almost time for lady time so but I was really freaking out so when I came across that picture I was like okay so I do have a long ways to go but I do see some changes so I think it's important for when you gain some weight whether you're pre-op pre post-op or not even going to ever have surgery I think when you get to a point where you feel like um, you're you're not progressing you need to look at pictures of where you came from and I know a lot of people when they're overweight I'm not one of those but I know a lot of people that when they're overweight they don't want to take pictures because they don't want to remember it but maybe just take pictures and keep them just for yourself you don't have to share them but you might want them for your own personal reference so anyway I'm gonna post pictures that I took today I am nowhere near skinny I'm 261 pounds and I'm hoping by next week, lady time will come, I'll be released. I'm going to start drinking my water when I got my alkaline water. And I'm going to get my eight glasses in. And I'm just going to stay prayerful to the Lord to show me which way to go on this path. Because I'm like all over the place. I'm like trying to buy a house, trying to lose weight, trying to get my finances together. And trying to get myself ready for my future husband. So I am all over the place. But I know that I can do all things through Christ. Because he gives me my strength. And um, with that being said. Stay tuned for pictures. And I will touch bases with you guys soon. Have a good one. God bless. Love you.